and good eating. Fisheries experts like him for different reasons, and News Aid's Pat Cruz found the experts using um, shocking methods to catch those tiger muskies. This is what the tiger muskies looked like three years ago when the wildlife department let them loose in Mayfield Lake. Photographer Terry Retteria went underwater to look for them again this year. Goodbye. But those tiger muskies are hard to find. Instead, we found myriads of squawfish, problem fish. They're eating up all the trout. That's why the department released the tiger muskie to eat those squawfish. Now, three years later, comes the moment of truth. They have to round up all those fish and count them to see if the project is working. So now, at about sunset, they're going to bring all those fish to the surface with the touch of a button. This button shocks the fish to the surface. It sends a current through these spidery tentacles. That electrifies the water, and the stunned fish float to the top. What is that? A sucker. It's a sucker? Yeah. We netted a lot of suckers, a few perch, and buckets of squawfish. But we kept searching for that tiger muskie. We know they're in there. Floyd Reno has caught four. Like this last one I caught, oh, he jumped about four times. Uh, clear out of the water, a couple feet out of the water. There he is. All right. Finally, our turn to nab the prize tiger muskie. We'll try, try to get a length on him and a weight and, and uh, release him. This gives scientists a chance to size up the fish. They found out two things. The tiger muskies aren't eating enough squawfish, but basic measurements show that the tiger muskies are thriving here. We know that they, they prefer the squawfish uh, as part of their diet, and <clears throat> we also know that uh, their growth rate is extremely fast. Uh, we've seen these things go from 8 to 25 inches in one year, which is uh, approaching saltwater growth rates in, in fresh water, which is uh, astounding. This specimen weighed in at 5 and a half pounds. The world record tiger muskie weighed 50 pounds. These fish came from Minnesota. There's only one place in Washington where you'll find a tiger muskie, Mayfield Lake. Pat Cruz, News 8. If you can find one there, the Wildlife Department expects to stock Mayfield Lake with coho salmon by the end of the summer. By the way, Floyd Reno says he caught that tiger muskie with, or all four of them, with a bucktail lure. See? That'll get